time share. Girl, it may just be me and you. I'm sure. Girl, it may just be me and you. I'm sure. I just texted Laura, so. I didn't share myself with anybody, Michelle, so I didn't know if you would or not, if you could. Let's see if he may pops on. Oh, I, on my phone, Michelle? I can get on Facebook Manager. But on my iPad, I could not. So, it still shows your iPad. Hi, Valerie. How are you doing, girl? So, I don't know what's going on with that. But on my phone, I was able to go to Facebook Messenger. Hi, Valerie. So, I don't know what's going on with that. Thank you. So, like I said, on my phone, I can go on Facebook Messenger or Manager and it's just mine. But when I go on my iPad, it's you. So I I don't know, it's crazy. All right, everybody, Michelle's gonna be my moderator tonight. Cause in our in um Laura Jean's loft, she has had us, you know, get a biz buddy to help us out. So she's gonna be my moderator tonight and she's gonna be posting everything for me. And if you're here, just say hi, share, thumbs up, something. Let me know you're here. I see there's 17 of you on. If you could just, you know, say hi, that would be great for me. Girl, Valerie. <laughs> let me tell you. Hold on, let me find my scissors. Hey, Heather, what's up? So, me and my husband made it, uh-oh, on one of my gorgeous, beautiful wreaths. It's like a $100 wreath. So, I have taken it apart, so we're going to be doing Christmas in April, just because I need to get it listed back on Etsy. Hi, Judith. How are you doing? If you're new here, I'm Kara with Kara's Creations and more. Um, and as you can see by my lovely mess I've got going on. Hey, Christina, what's up with you? You still working at the VA? You need to have some of those girls up there to buy something from me. It'd be nice. Uh, Dory, if I say your name wrong, I'm horrible with names, but from Georgia, hi. I'm from West Texas, as you can tell by my hick accent. Hi, Judith. Valerie, you're going to be so proud of me. I set up my YouTube page. I don't know how I did it. Heather, you got a grandbaby who had one. Um, Veronica, did Veronica have another one? So, Valerie, I, I'm going to show, because, you know, snowball mesh is very expensive mesh. And I want to show, I think I can salvage this mesh just by putting it back on the way I had it where the ruffles were. I mean, it, it, it's thick mesh. It should be go right back. Hi, Christina. Heather, when did Veronica have another baby? I didn't know that. Hold on then. For all you know, my dog's name's Doc. He will be in here shortly. He's in the doorway staring at me like I'm nuts. I, well, I only could, remember when we on our Zoom call, I could only do those four. I tried to do more and it won't let me. March 27th, huh? I know, right, Judy? I'm horrible. Hi, Sharon. How are you doing? Um, Christina, Michelle's going to be moderating for me, so. Let me move this so I'm not always just looking at the corner here. Um, I do have to say something. This is why I've got bags under my eyes. Hi, Virginia. How you doing, girl? Um, if my live feed does go off, 
and interrupt. My stepmother is in the hospital and my dad cannot go to the hospital. It's not the virus, um, just underlying conditions. Um, <clears throat> so he's the only person that can interrupt this call. So if the feed goes off, I'm sorry. I love you guys, but that is the most important thing right now. So if it goes off, I apologize. But I've got to keep in touch with him because he's, he's elderly and can't get around very good. And he's by himself at home and I can't go see him. No one can go see him. He can't go to the hospital. He can't do anything. So he's the only one that can get there. Like I said, if the feed stops, I apologize. I just want you guys to know why if it does. Hi, Teresa. How are you doing? I'm Kara with Kara's Creations and More. Christina, I've got bags under my eyes so bags I haven't slept because I'm worried about my stepmom. Hey, Jessica. Um, if you're new here, just leave a note. Let me know who you are, where you're from. Hi. If you wouldn't mind sharing and liking my page or hitting the, the hearts, the thumbs up, a smile, just give me a shout out. Um, Michelle Reed is going to be moderating for me and she will be posting my Facebook page, my Etsy, and um, my YouTube because I'm new to YouTube. So I would love it. If you guys could go and subscribe to my YouTube, that, that would just be awesome. I need to make it to 100. So, thank you. Thank you, Josie. I really appreciate it. I'm just, I'm really worried about her a lot. Very worried about her. Um, this, what happened to, what happened last night, early this morning, has happened like two months ago. Like right when the virus really started. Hey, Cece. When the virus really started going around, she had to go to the hospital for this. Um, I'm just praying to God that they can figure out what it is so they can get a hold on it very easily. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate that. So, I just pray that it it gets better. So, I'm just going to leave it at that and call it a good day. Miss Bloomfield, I can't pronounce your first name. I'm sorry. But, hi. How are you doing? Where I'm from Texas are you from? Have you, I asked you that before? I don't remember. Okay. Enough about that. So, this was a beautiful wreath at one time. Um, me and my husband were putting in a garage door. I blame this on him, but it was pretty much my fault. Um, you know how it goes. We're putting up a garage door, and I have all my wreaths in there laying in, hanging up on a rack so they don't get damaged. Well, obviously it did. And the door fell on it. Yeah, I, th I thank you, Lola. I appreciate that, guys. Um, thank you, Cece. Hi, Carla from Arizona. I'm Kara with Kara's Creations and more. Um, like I said, Michelle's going to be posting my links if you wouldn't mind, you know, going to my YouTube or liking and sharing my page and help join my group, you know, get my, my shares up because I haven't been doing lives in so long. Um, so we're going to redo this read. And believe it or not, I was able to salvage the ribbon. Don't ask me how. The only thing I lost was one of the, the lovebirds on it, or the doves. Can't find the other one. But that's okay. We can still make it work. Midlothian. My whole family is from Sherman and Dallas. That's where my dad's from, actually, and how. And um, I'm in Sweetwater, Texas. It's in West Texas. It's about four hours northeast or northwest of Dallas, somewhere around there. All right, so whenever I put my mesh on, I like to start right here where I can easily jump up there. I don't want it to be way over here so I can easily jump up. It's a lot easier that way. So, and I'm just gonna go back with the actual, sorry, my dog's in the way, the actual, um, curvature of where I had the mesh to begin with. Hey, Lord Jean, this is a really, really expensive mesh, a very nice mesh, and I don't want to lose it. It's like $10 for a big roll of it, if not 11 I don't remember. It depends on if I can ever get it on sale. Hi, Teresa. Lord Jean's in the house, guys. So, like I said, I'm just, I think I had these in 10-inch poofs. I think, I think I did. I think, I think I so you can actually see where the natural curve of the mesh is. So we're just gonna go right back around. And how I got all of my... Oh, oopsies, sorry, forgot. 
I've got too much on my mind. I'm tired. Sorry. Well, Christina, were you sleep? Oh, oh. Girl, I don't know what why I did that. Maybe it's your page. All right, can we all see good enough? All right, cool. So, I'm going to go back down. I, these are made in 10-inch poofs. See, Laura, I told you I could salvage this mesh. And then I'm just going to fluff it out. When it's already used mesh, I've got to be make sure that I'm keeping my sides together because it was already fluffed out to begin with. So, I'm just trying to keep that just as straight as I can like it was in the natural curvature. Like I said, if you guys would just give me the thumbs up. Hey, Tina, what's going on? I haven't heard from you in a while. Are you still working at Seven Oaks? I can't remember. I think I asked you that like six months ago, and I can't remember. A2, Michelle, and that's why I'm saving it. It's because it you can use it over and over. It's such good mesh, and I have full rolls, and if I can salvage it, I'm going to salvage it. But it's going right back in the natural curves. Yes, it's a new frame. And I'll show you the old one. I'm so, hey Stephanie, I'm so embarrassed about it. So, see, we broke it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's awesome. So, yes, I did get a new form. <laughs> All right, and if I can keep my dog off of this, we'll be good. And if you guys don't know, Oh my God, Tina, are y'all staying safe? I have an English Bulldog who snores like a trucker, so if you hear something odd in the background, it's just him. He's he's already started, I can hear him right now. He's under my feet. Actually, he's on them. He's already found his resting spot for the next two hours. He was outside playing, so he's tired. Mama, see? I can't pronounce your name, but hello, I'm Kara with Kara's Creations and more. Yeah, I know. He's a good boy. He was trying to play with the chickens earlier and they weren't having it. All right. So as you can see, this one's kind of a little to the sides, like it shouldn't be. So I really don't even need to measure it. I just need to go back on the original thing of the poof. And some of them may be a little bit longer than the other after putting this back on, but it'll be all right. If no, Doc don't have gas. Tina, do y'all have any positive cases? I know that Bonham Fannin County has like six, but I didn't know if you guys were okay in the nursing home or not. All right, so I'm back where I started. And I didn't cut down my rolls, so I apologize. You're going to have to sit through that. I lost track of time. My fault. Okay. So, sometimes I will not zip tie these when I go up to the top layer, but since it's white and it does need to keep its shape, I'm going to. So, I'm just going to pop right back up there. Well, are they testing you guys, Tina, or just the residents? I can't, girl, I can't believe you're still there. Okay, so here we go on the top. Let me go back to my natural curve. And I'm only going to do rolls on this. I'm not going to do ruffles because it doesn't need it because the mesh is so pretty. I want to be able to see the mesh. Okay. It's alright, girl. I, I do I, I do understand what you're coming from with it though. Now 
as you can see, it's a bit of a, it's getting in the way a little bit, but it's just because we're coming to the end. I do too, Michelle. I can't believe I'm making Christmas in April, but I've got to get the thing fixed so I can put it back on my Etsy page. Because I still have it on there, but just list it under the other one. I need to deactivate it because this one's probably going to be a little different. And then I'm just pulling them back. Now you can do this on a regular... Yes, Christina, why? You can do this on a regular um, wire form because I know that forms are hard to come by, which I do have some if anybody's interested. Um, you just get a wire form, a little 14 inch, however big you want it. And there's gonna be 10 ties on the bottom, eight on the top. You can use pipe cleaners to make them by four inches, four and a quarter inches long. And you can do it on a metal frame. I don't like metal frames, but if it's my last resort, I'll use one. But in times like these, you never know what the last resort's gonna be. Let me find my tie, there it is. There you go, repurposed, expensive mesh that looks the same as when I had it on the wreath the first time. Yeah, what about it, Christina? Don't tell me you're in the hospital right now. Well, don't be running around if you got that girl. I'm just going to tuck this under. It's no big deal. I need the poofiness anyway. Right. I'm just going to straighten it back up. Alright guys, and my name is Kara with Kara's Creations and More. Michelle Reed is moderating for me. And ladies, I finally have my YouTube channel up. And she's going to post those links, so if you wouldn't mind sharing my page and liking it, or give me a thumbs up, a heart, smiley face, just anything, let me know you're here. And if you're new, just drop your name in a comment and let me know where you're from, and you can sit back and chit-chat, and we can all have a good time. Because Lord knows we all need it right now. Alright, see? Back the way it was. Now, we're going to have glitter all over us. I call it stripper dust, but, you know, hope I'm not offending anybody by saying that, but I'm going to have glitter all over me today. Hi, Sharon. You're from Montgomery, Alabama. I'm from Texas. It's nice to see you if it's your first time. My name is Carol, like I said. Um, I'm glad to have you here. Um, how are things in Montgomery right now? Didn't you guys get some storms not too long ago? I hope that you weren't in any of them. I know you guys have been getting our weather, you know, tornado weather. For some reason, it doesn't hit us like it used to. I guess it's all going over towards the east. All right. Now, I couldn't salvage my rolls, so we're going to make rolls. Um, I'm going to cut them in 10 inch sections. It's, um, it's um, silver, gold, because my actual wreath is silver and gold. And it's got the snowball white in with it.
I usually have this already done, but I let time get away from me. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm probably only going to cut eight for once. That's all I have, possibly. And if I need another, I can use that. All right. Now, how I do rolls. <laughs> Are you talking about the stripper dust, Stephanie? I, I can't help myself. Girl, y'all know I'm nuts. Yeah, he's... He's snoring. He's probably hot. I don't have the air on. Okay. So I got my little Bodabra. My handy dandy one. And what I'm going to do is... is a, they're cut in 10 inches, so I'm just going to take on the edges and roll them in. You can make these tight or loose. I kind of like them in between because I want them to be able to show. And then I'm using this gold. I usually don't like jo Joanne's mesh, but I love this Christmas gold that I have. I love it. I should have bought more, but I don't know why I didn't. And then I've got the snowball mesh in the 10 inch, so I'm going to use that as well. Okay, and I'm just going to put all three of them together, just like that, and then you're going to put your little pipe cleaner around it, and then just pull them down real tight, and then tie them off. And that way it keeps them all together like that, so they'll go in on good. Just put them over there. Oh, from Lubbock? Girl, I don't even know where Lubbock is from here. Hey, Kristen. How are you and Jason doing? I hope everything is good at the jail. Yeah, this was my favorite wreath I made last year, and I was so upset when we broke it. Ugh. And it was my fault. It really wasn't his fault. I just like to blame him. Okay. Once again. I'm going to pull it down straight. And once again, I'm Kara from Kara's Creations and More. If you wouldn't mind liking and sharing my page, um, thumbs up, hearts, anything like that to let me know you're here. And if you're new, go ahead and just drop me a comment. Let me know where you're from. The jail's peachy. Is he home right now? Oh. And I do have my new YouTube channel up, and Michelle Reed is moderating for me, and she'll be putting my links up there for me. So if you guys wouldn't mind going and actually subscribing to my YouTube channel, I really need subscribers since I just opened it. Because you can't go live or anything in there until you get a certain amount of subscribers. And I don't even... I don't even know if I can even record on my phone after a hundred years. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I know I can do lives, but I don't know if I can, if I have, there's so many rules. If I have to actually have a webcam or if I can do it from my phone. I don't remember. Thank you, Lord Jean. Like I said, I'm just rolling these into 10 inch rolls. Yes, just wait till I have to try and moderate for Michelle. I'm not the brightest t bulb in the tanning bed by any means when it comes to computer stuff. And I'm a little nervous about it. But 
it. Now, I love silver and gold. I loved making this wreath. What? Sorry, he's giving me a mean mug. Okay, we're almost done with these and we can start the fun stuff. With my own fingernail, who does that? And if you wouldn't mind Laura Jean's room, Laura Jean's wreath room, she's who got a lot of us started in this. If you wouldn't mind going to her page and liking it, if you've never seen it or know who she is, she's very, very good. And if you are looking for a private group, I used to suck at making these, thinking I was just, and then I started joining her group, and I'm somewhat decent now. So, she can teach you a lot. Oh, well, you should be proud, Laura Jean. Look what I did last night. Hey, Laura, how you doing? And once again, guys, since there's so many more of you on here right now, if my broadcast does interrupt, my dad is the only one that can interrupt it and my stepmom is in the hospital and they don't know what's going on she was un i don't know it's not the rona and uh he's the only one that can break through so if inter if it interrupts i apologize um so you know hopefully nothing bad happens because he can't go there and he was like carrie he calls me Kara Jean. He goes, Kara Jean, what happens? I can't even be with her. Something happens or she passes. I can't even go to the hospital. I was like, Dad, I know. They let him bring her phone and stuff in there. And what's really cool is, is on every shift change for the nurses or the doctors, whoever's on shift, they call and keep him updated of who's there and who isn't. So I thought that was pretty cool of what they're doing for him. And then he, she couldn't have her private stuff for 12 hours because they had to decontaminate it, sanitize it, and everything else. So hopefully all goes well. This is just really puts it into perspective whenever, you know, it's your own family. You hear people talking about it, and you're like, oh, hey, yeah, cool. You know, I feel bad until it happens to you, and then you're like, good Lord. Okay. So I know I'm going to need something to hold all that up. So I am going to make a crossbar. And what I do is, is I just take two pipe cleaners, put them, to, put them together. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I want to put it where the two crossbars are. I'm going to go straight across. I can't believe I'm making Christmas in April. And then I'm going to put it right back under it that little piece so it'll stay secure. Yeah, I, I know. Michelle's moderating for me, and I have a new YouTube channel, so if you guys wouldn't mind going and subscribing to it, that would be awesome of you guys. We all got to support each other, especially right now during everything that's going on. I know there's a lot of lives going on, and I really, really appreciate you just at least stopping by and saying hi. That, that just means so much as, as crafters. Even if just someone stops by and says, hello, I gotta go. You know, it just shows a little bit of support for all of us. And that's what it's all about is support. Gives us something to do and you as well. All right, now I'm just gonna come straight across here. And there's not a crossbar where you're gonna come straight across. So, you know, as long as you kind of get it in the middle and you're, you'll see what I'm about to do. Oh, thank you, Christina. All right, I'm just going to go straight across here, and I'm going to give it some tension, and then I'm going to go around it again just to keep it in place. And then...
go right back over it and then put it right back around that again so it keeps it in place. Sometimes I don't need this because there's not a hole in the middle at the meshes. I still use it so I can attach stuff to it easier. It sticks up a lot easier. Now, unfortunately, I am going to have to open a new roll of this and just take a few pieces off. I don't want to do it, but I need a middle and I don't have any 10 inch to stick in the middle. So, I'm basically just going to cut a few pieces off. I'm not measuring it. It might be 20 inches. I'm not sure. I just need three pieces. And what I want to do is, is I'm just going to get three pieces of pipe cleaner. Just You can just use the small ones. It's no big deal. I've got a mess going on. And then you can just put these you know, little pieces together. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to kind of make a ruffle. I said it doesn't need to be perfect because it's just gonna go as a base and that's all it's gonna do. Get that together, just like that, and twist it off. And then just kind of fluff it out a little bit on the sides, and there you go. Hey Pamela, how are you doing? Linda? Oh, you're from South Carolina? I'm sorry, I missed the the comments a little bit as I was trying to do all this. If you are new, it's nice to meet you. If you want to join in on the chit chat about anything you want. I know everybody's here to learn about a wreath, but a lot of people chit chat on here too, you know, because right now a lot of people don't have anything else better to do. I'm not saying that, you know, hey, I don't want to watch her because I have nothing else better to do, but you know, you know what I mean. If you wouldn't mind going in, liking, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, that'd be great. Michelle Reed is going to drop the links down below, and you can um, go from there and subscribe. I need 100 people, guys. 100 people. I think I only had five earlier because I just opened it. And if you guys wouldn't mind going over to MNB Creations as well, that's Michelle's page. Um, she does a lot of cute stuff. She uh, makes homemade embellishments and everything. She's very, very, very talented. Very talented. All right, and then I'm just gonna, see who that crossbar is? I'm just gonna attach some of these to it. It doesn't need to be a specific location. Just as long as they're attached. I'll show you why. Wow, 100 people, look out now. Upstate New York, first time watching. Thank you, Rosemary, I'm making silver and gold. It's a wreath that I broke, sort of, and I am trying to repair it. Because in this mesh is refurbished mesh from the original wreath, because I didn't want to waste it. I'm just gonna tie that piece on there. Hey, Stacia, you guys, so I made a wreath, one of my first wreaths I made, Stacia works at a dental office and it was for kids and I made a wreath and it had toothbrushes on it. I never, I was like, there's no way this is going to look good. And I forget who I had make the sign. It was so long ago and it was the cutest little wreath. I went out and bought toothbrushes and everything for it. Do you still have that Stacia? Rosemary is not nice seeing you. We're at it, upstate New York. Are you from? Ouch. All right, now that I got those on there, I'm just going to take them and kind of push them down and then pull my regular poofs out a little bit to cover those because I just need this as a anchor. And for all of you who are new, I have a bulldog. He snores like a freight train. I don't want you to think I'm farting, but it is him. And he is asleep under my feet, so... Everybody here who's usually on here knows who Doc is. 
So that is that noise you're hearing. And see, it like I said, it's going to have little pieces here and there, but that's okay because you're not going to see it. It's just going to hold up. You still have it, Stacia? Wow. I know Kristen still has all hers. I made her. Okay. So, on the silver, I'm going to go do, I'm doing with it. Yes, thank you guys for supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Hi, Dean. How are you doing? Thank you, Valerie. I appreciate it. I'm going to do in 12-inch tails. So, I'm going to do nine of them. And I have another roll, so don't fear. So, I got six out of that. Let go. God, he's loud. I apologize. Thank you, Sharon. I really appreciate it, guys. I, I really, really do. Hi, Rosemary. Illinois. It, Leon, about an hour from Syracuse, an hour from Albany. Hey, there's two. There's a loftette from Albany, and Laura Jean's wreath room is from Baldwinsville, which is real close to Syracuse. So, hey, you're right up there with them. All right, and what I'm doing is I cut them in 10 inch section or 12 inch. This is a 12 inch ribbon ruler. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, is just put these together and you're going to fold them over like that. And I'm going to cut away from me. And it gives you that dovetail look, gives it that finished look. And you're going to come back over here again. Fold it back over and cut away from you. Now I need three more out of a new roll. Oh, TK, you be quiet. TK's crazy, you guys. I've never known anybody like TK. Ah, blue, hot blue, hot blue. Oh, it hurt. She uh, collects crafts and doesn't do anything with them. She'll buy all these kits and don't do anything with them. She, I, I need to go to her house. Seven, eight, nine. Because I guarantee you, you can find anything you need. Forget Hobby Lobby. Go to TK's garage. All right, now the dog's really getting going. <laughs> hi, hi, Christy from North Carolina. How are you doing? It's nice to see you. If you're new, if you wouldn't mind sharing and liking my page, uh, Michelle Reed is moderating for me. She's going to be dropping links down there. If you wouldn't mind helping me out a bit, that'd be awesome if you could do that. Because we're all a bunch of crazy group here. <laughs> CK, I was just making fun of you, girl. I'm sorry. And as I said, there's glitter everywhere, and it's called stripper dust, and it is all over me. It's even under the, over the dog. Okay. So, uh, I straightened out a lot of my ribbon that I was able to salvage, which is this right here. I was able to take it off the wreath and, and straighten it out. You put something heavy on it. Don't laugh at what I'm about to show you. In order for me to, to put something heavy on it, I do a bunch of Mod Podge on glasses and everything. And I keep liquor bottles. <laughs> and it's so heavy glass, I just laid on top of it. And it, you know, it smooth it out. So no judgment on the Jack Daniels bottle. I don't drink it. My husband does. I think it's gross. Rosemary, you can't subscribe? Huh. Okay. So these are the colors I'm going to use. I'm going to use the silver with this since there's already silver on it. And this... Get out there. This has silver in it. I don't know if you can tell. And then here's the gold that goes with it. So those two are going to go together. Let me get them together. You're serious about what? God, I, that dog is so loud. I am so sorry. He hadn't been this loud in a while. Okay. 
And once again, I'm Kara. Like I said, if there's new people here, just drop a comment. We're all a bunch of friendly people, you know. See what's going on. See how everybody is doing. Ew, my husband drinks it. I just, I used to have fun and I just, the older I've gotten and I'm not that old. I just can't drink like I used to. I don't know what happened. Now you give me a margarita on the rocks with no salt and it has to be with Patron. Girls, I'm good. You give me one drink and I'm done. TK, I need to come to your house and shop, girl. I think I might travel for that one. I'll come in a full hazmat suit. I don't care. Are you, Laura? I, well, I couldn't help it. I was like, well, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Judgment-free zone. Thank you, TK. TK, were you... Were you around whenever I did this one? Is he Linda? <laughs> Lady, you ain't heard nothing yet. I promise you. You can ask the girls in here. He gets... He gets, uh... He gets a little nuts. Oh, I'm gonna show you something. Oh, stripper dust. Look what I got from... Ebeth. Ebeth, I think is her name right. Isn't that the cutest thing? I love the 4th of July. I love patriotic stuff. And he's wooden... And then he's, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. It's kind of heavy, but you know, I'll make it work. And it says home of a soldier. This is probably going to go on my door. I may put it in my Etsy shop, but I definitely love it. Ebeth Rye. I think she said that's how you pronounce her name is Ebeth. But she's awesome. You should go check out her, her page. She does, she hand paints those, the wood ones. And she does, um... Star foam faces, um, and Michelle's even got a couple of them. She even did like a mermaid one with sequins on her face. It was just awesome. Made me very jealous that I don't have one. All right, so we're going to put these in every other one, and these are cut at 12 inches. And like I said, you can always salvage a wreath. If I can do this, anybody can do it. I promise you. Just take some thinking, and and these ribbons are kind of thin, so whenever you're pulling them out, be very careful because this is Hobby Lobby ribbon, and I love the ribbon, but it's satin, and I'm not fond of working with satin because I always tear it in a bow. And then you're just going to pull the tails towards you. You may have to get in and manhandle them. Just be careful, but you can do it. Yeah, she is. Yes, and uh, TK was very nice enough. Uh, Pam Mitchell from Knock Your Socks Off Door Decor. She has the most amazing signs that are like plastered 3D faces. And I really, really was so upset at my stomach that I did not get the Uncle Sam one. It just killed me to do it. So she is going to be so nice enough to let me buy it because, God, you don't know how upset I got because I didn't get that one. Because they, they sell that in like mint literally like seconds hi diane how are you doing my name is kara yes tk i promise i will do a live on that one i just showed and a live on the one i'm going to purchase from you i promise diane michelle reed is moderating for me and she's going to be dropping links below for my youtube and my business page if you wouldn't mind going and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to 100 people. I just opened it and I would be forever in y'all's debt if y'all would do that for me. Marilyn, what sign are you talking about? The one I just showed or the knock your socks off? Because it's not here yet. It needs to hurry. You're just going to do these every other one. This is the sign I was showing. She hand paints these. Um, they're wooden and they're awesome. And then I got this from Hobby Lobby because my husband, you know, he's 
a veteran of Desert Storm 1 and 2, so I'm going to put that with it. Um, I just think it's just adorable, as cute as can be. I love 4th of July. I don't do anything for 4th of July, but I love it. Like I said, you're going to pull these ribbons out, push them towards you, and you can recycle ribbon because we're going to recycle the bow ribbon and see how that works out. Hi, Debbie. How are you doing? Thank you, Christy. I appreciate it. You're just going to walk these ribbons in. I'm such an idiot. There we go. I got it. I had it tied to another tie on the top. Okay. And then just pull them towards you. you with satin, you got to be very careful. Sometimes they bunch up and you just kind of got to get in there and just pull them apart. If they bunch up at the uh, ties. And they will. Just be very careful with satin. TK, I, Michelle does um, Girls of the Month, and it came up time for mine, and as she gives you stuff for like a kit, I don't need ribbon, I don't need to spend, have her spend all that money, just buy me the sign, that's all I wanted, I don't need a whole kit, and I got enough ribbon, save your money for, you know, somebody else that might need the full amount of stuff that goes in the kit, I just wanted the sign, so, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, Vicki. I'm from Kingston, Oklahoma, so I know you probably know where that's at. It's nice to see you. Of course, I don't live in Oklahoma anymore. I live in Texas, but I definitely know where that's at. And thank you for stopping by. Sorry about the dog. See, that one's not wanting to lay right, so. That's, you know, even if you get satin ribbon refurbished or not, it's, it's just horrible to work with. But I make it work because I love the colors. TK, well, message somebody and let them get a second opinion on it and help you out. Do you know how many times I've showed Laura Jean hot messes and she helped me? It's, it got to the point to where I wouldn't even tell her I made one, but she'd call me and say, let me see what you made. I mean, you know. So, just find somebody and message them and get their input on it. Everybody's got different input. And believe it or not, if you don't like it, somebody else probably will. Hi, Betty. How are you doing from North Carolina? Anna, I'm in, I was in Odessa and, girl, I moved like a month ago. I hated living on Odessa because I used to live there years ago and moved away and had to come back. So I'm in Sweetwater now. Bless you for living there, but I don't like it. I'm used to water and trees. And unfortunately, Odessa does not have that. They've got shootings. Hi, Jennifer. TK, why are you four hours on Etsy? Were you listing stuff? All right, where's my other tie? Oh, there it is. And don't be afraid to manhandle these ribbons. They're not gonna go there unless you put them there. Just if they're satin, be very, very careful. All right, and there's the bottom. Hold on just a second, guys. It's hot in here. I had to turn the air on. I don't know why, Valerie. I'm sorry. Okay. And now here's a tip since this is a refurbished one. I had a bunch of stuff glued on certain things on the other old wreath, the other old wreath form. But I glue stuff, when I glue stuff to the ties, so that way you don't damage the mesh or the ribbon in case of something that happened like this that has happened. 
And in order to do that, sometimes you can just rip it off. From McAllen, we does it. Do you really? My husband, we he was in law enforcement and got moved to the Ector County Federal Jail downtown on Texas Street to be assistant warden. And then, you know, we left and went other places. And then, God help us, he got in the oil field and, you know, he moved back. And I stayed in Bonham, Texas, if you, or Sherman area, if you know where that's at. And I had to move back because I got tired of being away from him for so long. And now we're out of there. And it's awesome, girl. Thomason, what have you been doing, girl? You guys, Miss Chelsea Thomason is on here, and she was a fellow corrections officer with me. And I miss her so much. I was a loser and quit. And then everybody followed suit, I guess. Not that you're a loser, Thomason. But I miss her so much. I miss leaving all my friends. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to get caught up on the stuff. Is Yvette right? Um, I'll pay attention to Michelle's comments, and she'll tell you where it's from. Girl, you working at the juvenile center? Better you than me. Yes, Laura Jean, I know. You're my new BFF. Sorry, Chelsea, you've been replaced. I love you, though, girl. I'm just playing. I'm waiting on her to get married. It might be, Valerie. I don't know. Maybe people just wanted to show some love and hop on and off, or maybe they don't like me. Who knows? Hey, Thomas, and if you're still on here, why don't you go to my YouTube page? Michelle's going to post it and subscribe for me. You could do that for me. And you and Misty, have Misty do it too. Both of y'all go there. When are y'all going to get married? Okay. And we're almost done with the top layer. I was with Chelsea Thomason whenever she, she didn't get pepper sprayed because you work at the jail, you got to get pepper sprayed. She did not. When we went to weapons class, you get a swab and they put it in the corner of her eye. She about died just having that. I'm like, girl, take a big old five second burst and get back with me. I hate pepper spray. Just tase me. Do not pepper spray me. It's horrible. Especially with the stuff we used at the jail. Woo. It's called Fox. And it ain't no joke either. It's as strong as they make. And they make us get sprayed with it. Alright. We're on our last one. Chelsea, look under your comment. Michelle just posted it. You be alright, Chelsea. Hey, you did it. That's all that matters. There's other people that never did it. Just imagine it on your third or fourth blast. It starts sucking after a while. All right, so we're all the way around with the ribbon. Isn't that pretty? Oh God, TK, I know. I'm gonna tell you what right now, we all need to get together like a bunch of, I don't know what, because uh, if we bought, and we don't use it, I'll keep it, but I think we all need to get a buddy system together when hers go back on sale. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these rolls on before. And what I like to do is, is I go in between the puffs, the poofs, whatever you wanna call them, and put it right here on every one of them. And if I don't have enough, I'll make some more, it's no big deal. And then just attach it to that frame. 
with your little pipe cleaner and twist it around and it gives you that extra see that extra pop right there and it shows the extra silver in it that you can't see on the other ones so here's another one a lot of the times I won't use all nine of these I usually cut down nine or eight and I never end up using them all it's a waste of mesh but I may or may not need them so I'd rather need them than not have them than you know not be able to use them okay all right we're almost to the fun stuff And if you mush your ribbons, it's okay. They'll go back. And then that way the roll is right there and it, your ribbon sits on top of it. That's why I like doing this. And you have your top and your bottom thing right brackets I roll I put these on the top one not the bottom because I don't want the bottom to sink in and this way you know the ribbon sticks up and to the side which is exactly how I want it to go Sorry guys, I don't have my glasses on. If I could find them, it would be even better. Chelsea, I'm not that talented. Hi Wanda, how are you doing? Thank you, Christy. Hi Betsy. Thank you, Kitty. If I've missed some comments, I'm sorry. Hi Kathy. Everybody, my daughter, Kristen Scott, is on. Everybody say hi to her. They've made it in Dallas now, to, in Dallas, where she lives, that you can't go anywhere without a mask. and She's dying because she can't leave the house. Because they'll turn you away at Walmart and everything if you don't have that mask. Okay, we're almost done. In between one up there. I'm talking to myself, so hang tight with me. Thank you, Diane. I appreciate you subscribing. Sh Chelsea, shut up. Where are you from, Wanda? Girl, I can't ever find a hair tie or my glasses. That's why I look a hot mess half the time. So, as you can see, we'll have to re fix the ribbon and refluff the ribbon, but, you know, that's okay. We can fix it. It's no big deal. Even the satin one. Okay. And see how that looks with the silver and the rolls? It really helps it pop up, pop out a lot. Okay. So I've got a bunch of goodies I'm going to put on it. I want to try and make it just like I had it. So I'm going to put the sign there and the bow here because I've got a big poinsettia I want up here. So let's make a bow with the refurbished ribbon. Dan, I don't know why. Uh, Michelle's posting it. Posting the link right there for everybody. Oh, stripper dust, stripper dust. 
my diamonds. Okay, so no judgment on what I'm about to show you. This is the ribbon. <laughs> I was able to salvage some, but looking, I had to dig out all my Christmas ribbon, which took about an hour and a half to go through it. Hi, Wanda in Connecticut. I'm Kara. I know she did. Missy. With Kara's Creations and more, if you wouldn't mind liking and sharing my page, it would be awesome. I also have a YouTube channel I would love for you to go to subscribe to. I've got to get to 100 so I can do lives on there instead of just posting a video because I am not computer savvy, but I know how to hit a live button. Um, and if you wouldn't mind going to Laura Jean's read room as well, she's an awesome teacher. She's a great friend to me. She has taught me everything I know, um, and she is willing to help. She's got a private group that's $20 a month, and it's worth every single penny. I used to be horrible at Reese, and I am not so bad anymore. And she taught me just about everything I do know. So it would be a good, it'd be good to uh, subscribe to her. And Michelle Reed is my moderator. She is an awesome, she's got a private group as well. Um, she makes a lot of little intricate designs and shows you how to make big bows with big ribbon. And she's my moderator as well. If you wouldn't mind going and liking her page, it's called MMB Creations. That would be great too if you could do that. She's also got a YouTube channel, and so does Laura Jean. So I don't know why it's not going through, guys. Yes, Debbie, it's a lot. Of, you know. If something sell, it didn't sell it on Etsy, which Laura Jean taught me this. Yes, Trina, I love Miss Laura too. If something on Etsy is not selling, go and change to something. Rearrange a few things. And I guarantee you post that back up and somebody, you know, you never know. Debbie's saying that it takes you there. And Michelle's copying it directly from the page. I don't know. I know it worked because I downloaded some stuff. Now, I usually do this at eight, at ten or twelve inches. I'm probably going to do 13 inches, 13 inch tails. And even if it, it might be too much, but I'm still going to do it. I can always cut it down if I need to. And this is the original ribbon from the bow I had on it. But now looking at all my other stuff, I'll be adding more ribbon because I found something else I like. So you put your tail down and you twist it. It's going to be ugly or pretty side down, ugly side up. See how that is? There's the pretty down, ugly up. Make sure you straighten this out. And I'm going to do six inch tails. So you're going to go to six and use your finger as your guide. And then just put it straight down. And then twist it. It's very simple. Where you have the ugly face up now. Okay. Yeah, Chelsea said it worked too for her. When you go in to type it into YouTube, it's capital K-A-R-A -A apostrophe S space creations with the K and then and, you know, the and sign, not A-N-D, more. That's what, that's what it is. All right, go back over to six, push down. Do it one more time. Oopsies. And then twist again. And I'm doing four loops. I'm putting the satin ribbon on the back because I want the thicker ribbon up top so I can manipulate it more, which is what I'm after. And I made, there's four loops. And on the second one loop, I made it a little bit shorter. I don't know why, I just, sometimes I like to do that. There is no rhyme or reason, okay? And then 
I'm going to pull it out like this this way. Make an X just so I can see because of this ribbon is so thin. Okay. And I don't have to use my guide to cut or anything because it's already cut from the previous wreath. All right. Stay. Now, I want to come in with the silver. This is where the stripper dust comes in. I love the silver. Yeah, Dean, ever there, she's posting the link. Just hit that, and it should take you straight to it. Oh, Rosemary, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you guys are taking the time to try. I really appreciate it, guys. All right, and I'm just going to use that as my guide, however long it was, and we're just going to go straight down, okay? And then once you get it in, don't get off of that. I'm only going to do three of these because I think that's what I had it at before and I do not have any more of this ribbon so I want to make sure. And I'm going to make this just a little bit shorter, just a tiny bit shorter. You love stripper dust? <laughs> I don't know how to take that Michelle, I think I might just let you run with that one. And then just take it straight down and this ribbon right here is hard to mess with even on a normal roll that hasn't been reused it's just I love it but it's a pain and I'm only gonna use two of that I used three last time but I, I don't want to do three this time Oh, you hear him, Chelsea? Yeah, sometimes you just can't help it. You got to yell at it. All right. I think I think I want to put this in. I'm going to go to a one and a half now. Yes, Betsy, I'm saying stripper dust. That's just what I've always called glitter. I, I've got a crazy personality sometimes. You just, I'm, ask anybody on here that knows me. All right, and I'm gonna do four of these. Remember when you put it in, every time, twist it. And then you're gonna go just a little bit shorter. I really don't measure how many inches, I just go. I just make it a little shorter every time, okay? and then twist it. And yes, Michelle does love glitter. Okay. And then twist it again. And if you see my elbows going weird, I'm double jointed and they look backwards, so just don't judge. No judgment. And then just twist it. I kind of have to hold on to this ribbon because it's another satin that tries to, has a mind of its own. All right. <laughs> you didn't know this what I was talking about, Bessie? <laughs> Guys, I'm nuts. You just have to excuse me. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'll be in here talking to myself and the dog, you know, bulldogs, they kind of turn their head like, huh? And he does that to me on a normal day. All right, guys, if you're new, um, just show me some love with the hearts, thumbs up, something like something, anything, let me know you're here. Uh, Michelle is my moderator from MMB Creations. She's posting all of my links down below. If you wouldn't mind going to my YouTube and subscribing, I'm trying to build that up. Right, this is going to be loud, guys. I'm sorry. It was coming loose. Um, that would be awesome if you guys could do that. I would really appreciate it. 
All right, we're going to come back in with this other ribbon I salvaged that's inside the wreath. And I'm only going to be doing two of these, just a little bit smaller. I'm mixing the one and a half and the two and a half, and I'm just playing around and hope it comes out good. You know, sometimes it's what it's called creating. I'm just kind of winging the bow right now, just because I want it to see what I can do differently from the first one that I broke. Okay. And like I said, I'm just making it a little bit shorter. I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of going as my guide a little bit shorter. Okay. Silver and gold, silver and gold. Now I need another. And I'm only going to put just a little bit of this in because it is very, very glittery. I know. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you so, so much. And even if you're just stopping in, um, it's awesome that you're even doing that. I appreciate it so much. All right. You're going to go in. Even though this is the same color, I'm still going to twist and go you know, a lot of people don't because it's the same color, not twist and then go over, but I'm going to just out of habit. So that way, you know, if you're new at making bows, you're not going to make the mistake of not doing it, even though it's the same color on both sides, if that makes sense. Okay. Ah, uh, true Lord. It's everywhere. All right. Now, let's see if I have enough of this. I, I just, you know, I really didn't need it all last year, but it was there, and I wanted it, so I bought it. And I think I got this at Michael's, jeez, like two years ago, this color. I didn't really go to Michael's Christmas. I bought very few. All right, I'm going to go down with that. And I hope I have enough to make two loops. I might not have it, so we're gonna go a little bit shorter on the tails. And you're gonna twist. Go a little bit shorter. Look out now, I had enough and it's already it's automatically curling too, so you can't beat that. Oh god. Now I always get some wire ready. I use a 22 gauge because the 26 and the or the 25 I break because I'm always worried it's gonna fall apart. And I end up tearing it in half. So let me get a drink before this starts. Betty, I am redoing a Christmas wreath that I broke. Me and my husband broke it. Let's just go there. A garage door fell on it that we were replacing where I have all my wreaths hanging in my garage. And it's a beautiful wreath, so I took part, was able to salvage some of it, and we are actually doing Christmas in April. Okay, so I'm going to put my pipe cleaner, I'm going to get my hands up under this bow and hold my mouth right and hope it doesn't tear up. Okay.
not. And I've got a hold of it. I'm going to tighten it and twist the bow. Don't twist that. Twist the bow. Okay, and then I cut I cut the pipe cleaners off. Everybody does it differently. I cut my wire too short. Yeah, I was hoping it would turn out that way, and I think it might possibly turn out better than what I thought. All right, and I'm just going to tie my wire around that and twist it even tighter so I can have an extra layer of protection. Okay. make the most awesome bows by hand and I'm so jealous because I can't do it. Alright, I have to stand up for this. So, I've got this color and if it's scrunched up in the back, just pull on it and straighten it up on the very ends. And they're both the same size, so that's a plus. And that one's a little bit shorter. So I'm going to pull on it ever so gently. And there's the other one. Laura, is my internet messing up? And then you pull the silver one out. And this one, you got to be very careful. I wished I had more of that. And you, it's kind of like you got to choke the bow. I know that sounds gross. Even those out. Okay, and then now I've got this two and a half that I've got right here. Alright. You know, you can always fix it once it's in there if one part is shorter than the other and it's not as long as you want. Just pull on the right one till you find it. It's not going anywhere, I promise. Girl, it might be. Okay. And then now I came back in with the silver. This one got off base and sometimes it does I can't sit there and fluff them by hand before I attach them I, I'm, I'm not as good as Laura I can't do that I wished I was that talented but one day I'll get there
And that is how you make a refurbished ribbon. I only added two new ribbons to the whole bunch. That keeps bunching up. Hey, Wilhelmine, how are you doing? Hey, Wilhelmine, if you wouldn't mind hopping over to my YouTube. Um, I just got my YouTube up. Michelle's posting the links right down there for me, if you wouldn't mind. All right. And that right there is a refurbished bow from old ribbon from my original frame. And there you go. It's a beautiful bow once I get everything cut off. Okay. So here is the wreath form. So I think I'm going to put the sign up here. I want it kind of at an angle. I like to put the sign on first before I put the bow. Um, I don't know why I'm backwards like that. I, that's just what works best for me. That's how I, I taught myself to do. So I'm going to stick with that. And then I'm just going to tie it to the frame. I don't give myself enough credit for what, Michelle? Hi, Carol. It's nice to meet you from Florida. I'm Kara from Kara's Creations and more. We are doing Christmas in April. I'm redoing a wreath that I broke. And... Seriously, Kara? Hold on. I thought they all had the things on it, but apparently I was wrong. There's only one thing on there. <laughs> Such an idiot. All right. So, let's try this again. It is so hot in here. So I'm going to attach these to the sun. Four pipe cleaners. And I'm putting them in at a V. I don't know if you can see this. Just like that. And I staple it. put any felt down or anything because it's natural it's just like a, a frame a, a canvas frame is what it is I forget where I got it I don't know if I got it at home at home is where I got it All right. oh it's hot in here so now I'm just going to put glue on it I put a good amount of glue because I don't want it coming loose with the Texas heat. I've had one come loose. All right, we're going to let that dry for a minute. I've never tried a unique in the creek. I've always wanted to. I just never have. Girl, please, Michelle. I'm still learning. And I swear by Gorilla Glue. It's like I said, y'all know what they say about how hot it gets down here in Texas. And it does. Alright. 
so if you got got any questions while this is drying feel free to ask oh I do want to do a unique in the creek board I just every time I order supplies I just oh my god guys I wish you could see the dog he's glitter I just forget to order it I know, Dean. I, I hear I will. I know, Betty. I can't help it. Bless his heart. I am too, Michelle. I am so afraid to use it. But, I mean, you know, that would be something I would have to do off of camera and see how it worked. I did do, the like, you know, the uh, Christmas tree, uh, burlap Christmas trees. I started doing those and you know burlap is very expensive so you know a lot of the times people don't want to spend that much for you know what you got to spend for a roll of burlap and burning it down but I love making them oh thank you Vicki I appreciate that yes Christy that is my English Bulldog snoring he's a 70 pound ball of just mass muscle and snot that's what he is And a lot of the people on here regularly will tell you he's as cute as can be, but he is definitely a handful. All right, tuck that back down there. Let's try this again. That hurt. Thank you, Dean. I appreciate it. I've never, like, completely torn up one and redid it. Lola, I, you know, mine, his name is Dog. Don't judge the name. I didn't name him that. He was a rescue, and I think he's got the stupidest name possible, but, you know, whatever. Now, what I like to do is, is place this corner and then eat the other corner. I don't like doing each side at once because I always get messed up. So I will anchor it down one corner diagonal. That's just a little tip that, you know, you're here to learn. And I'm so sorry, Christy. I'm hoping it comes out looking brand new, Dean. I haven't even gotten to all the embellishments that I damaged, but I think they're okay. I was looking for some greenery I couldn't find any. Some flock. I got it. I just don't know where it's at. Because we just moved last month. And I've got stuff and everywhere. Like I have this little, this room I'm in doesn't have a closet. But there's a hall closet. So I've got all kinds of those big tall canisters like at home had of uh, Christmas bulbs last year. There's several of them in there. Because, you know, how many times are you going to come across that price? Thank you, Wilhelmine. I, I appreciate that girl. I really do. All right, so that's on, and that's placed on that anchor I put there. I've got to leave this bow alone, or I'm going to keep messing with it. So I'm going to go straight down the middle with this bow, and that's why I like the crossbar right there. It helps me put it where I want it. And I kind of want it on the side a little bit. And I'm don't pull too tight to get that. I do want to give it a little tension so I can take it onto the, the frame. You know, I wanted a female. I mean, I'm not, I know you should adopt, don't get me wrong. But after having a bulldog, I will buy name brand. And it's just because unless you've owned a bulldog, you have, it, it, you can't explain it. And, um. If I get a girl, I'm going to name her Stella. I don't know why. I've always loved that name. 
but you know, it is what it is. All right, now that we got that right there, now here come the goodies. Yeah, uh, Deborah, the only new thing, only new thing I have used in this is a new work for a work, a work frame. This is all the original mesh. I did had to make my own new little rolls right here because the other ones I I didn't like the gold it was on. So, all right, I've got some of these, some of these. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, I had a Yorkie one time too. I love that dog. And I may use one of these. I got the silver and the white puffy ones. I don't know yet. And I've got little silver balls. And I've got these gold roses. I don't know why I bought them. I may use them. I may not. I probably won't. But. And here's one of the little birds that came with it. I've lost the other one in the garage somewhere when it broke and I can't find it anymore. And then I also have uh, these. I don't know if I'll use them or not. I don't know. And then I have these. I wished I had some silver ones to go with it, but I do not. <laughs> Katie, my husband, before I met him, he used to breed English Bulldogs years ago. And him and his ex-wife, when they bought their females, they named them Southern names like Mabel something and Contessa. I don't know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't cool with that, no. I ain't naming my dog that. All right. trying to figure out what way I want it. Sorry, I'm very particular on this kind of stuff. Okay, there's that. And I want to put the bird kind of up here on the sign because that's where the other one was that I broke. And these are those little clips. That's what these were on. And I had it attached to the, the frame and I couldn't get it off. So I just clipped it off. I'm going to glue it anyway. And see that one I was able to get loose. All of these, you can tell that they were stuck in glue. Blow dryer. Heat it up and pull it out. And I've got a lot of little pieces over here that I was able to salvage. I just pulled a lot of these new ones out just because, you know, I might use those. I don't know. All right. So I know I'm going to commit to that right there because I want that hanging over on the wreath or on the side. Always fix your ribbon before you do that. Ah, that hurt. Oh, and you know, you're repurposing this ribbon. The only thing I had to cut down new was new silver on the ribbon. Everything else I was able to salvage on the tails and everything. Mavis Pearl, good God. <laughs> Mine is named Doc. I hate the name, but, you know, when he came to us, he had been living in his own poop and pee. He came housebroken, so I figure if he can do that, he can keep his name. That dog will go 12 hours without going to the bathroom because he don't want to get out of bed and go. 
He waits for himself. He don't wait for me to wake up. He wakes up on his own after I get up. That's why I will own another bulldog. I know, right, Millamine? I blistered myself. But I keep um, Silvadine in here. Keep a tube that I got from the vet's office. <laughs> All right, that bow turned out so pretty. I'm quite proud of myself. Okay. Now my little bird. She's eight. You are lucky to have her for eight years. We don't know how old Doc is. We think he's five or six, and we really and truly, no joke, think he's inbred. I know that's horrible to say, but it is the truth. Okay, now. I don't know if I want to use these because I want it to be so elegant that I probably won't. I want it to look like a Victorian, and I think that would just not be good. Okay. I'm going to tell you another way to be cheap. I bought some Emerald Agassi knives, and they come with all these cutting mats. That's my new glue space, where I put my glue gun. Sorry guys, I gotta put some silvadine on that, rub it in before it blisters. Good lord, 13 years old. That's old. Okay, so all of these pieces were salvaged. So I'm just going to incorporate these throughout. And no, I don't have a glue pot. Just remember, whenever you're putting something in, before you commit to it, make sure the ribbons are where you want them. And I kind of just want these to stick out just a little bit. So I glue them onto the ribbon. And I'm just going to go through and just start placing stuff. And I'm just gluing them on the tie. I don't know if y'all can see all that. Let me know if you can't. So I got gold and silver white. I'm going to put a white right here. And I'm going to spread it out. And I'm just placing these wherever I think it looks good. And I got them in little bitty pieces just because I like the little peekaboo things. And then I got some of these silver pieces. And I got this at Hobby Lobby at Christmas time for $1.99. And you know, when they have that 40 and 50% off, jump on it. Well, I mean, I can't make those to save my own life. I've tried. 
it just never works out. All right, I want to put that right in there, kind of by that that dove. And just place them wherever you can that looks good to you. I burnt myself again just on a different finger. There's a little piece to where one broke off, so I'm going to cut that little piece down. Hey, Sean, what's going on? You getting some orders in? guys sorry if I'm not talking I'm concentrating and I didn't have a lot of stuff on this one I'm just kind of using what I did have on there. I'm trying to make it easy. Kelly, I got their, their thin little cutting boards. When I bought my knife set of Emerald Agassi's, I got it at Sam's. It had five of four of these, one for each different knife. I never cut on them. I was like, hey, that will make a great glue board. So that's what I used it for. So I got one silver, one silver, and I need a silver over here. All right, sorry, I'm talking to myself. Okay, and just straighten your ribbon out. Let me cut these tails down first. Ooh, that was a horrible dovetail. Let me try that again. There we go. This ribbon, this ribbon right here was the hardest ribbon to redo because the type of, I guess, material that it is, it just didn't want to work with me very well. And it was the last roll I had and I wished I had more of it, but I used a lot of it in my Christmas, and I had it from the year before last, if that tells you anything, and I can't find it anymore. It was just a ribbon, I think. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I could have been wrong. I'm not sure, but I hated that it did that. And since this ribbon likes to curl very easy, I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so just separate your tails of your bow. Make sure each one has a space of where they're supposed to be. Let me 
me move that so I don't kill myself on that again. Because that hurt. Alright, guys. Let me pan up. Excuse my hair. Okay. So this is what a refurbished wreath looks like. Everything on here was the same, except the silver ribbon did not survive. I had to cut new silver ribbon. Every little piece, like these little balls, I was able to get off with a hair dryer. The rose, the bow, the poinsettia, all of that survived, and the rolls I redid on my own mesh because, you know, I didn't like them. They were, they just were not what I wanted. I wanted a different color in there. So that is how it's a re completely same stuff, same tail ribbon, same everything. So you can always redo something just in, and on Etsy. If it's not selling and no one's even looked at it in six months, go change the bow, put it somewhere else, change the sign. You, you'd be surprised what happens. Um, Laura Jean just did a, a tutorial in our loft showing how to do that. And then shortly, a couple days after that, this happened. So. Thanks, Laura Jean. But does anybody have any questions? I appreciate everybody for stopping by and giving me support, trying to get my business going up. I disappeared for a while. I got complacent. That was my fault. Um, once again, if you wouldn't mind going and subscribing to my YouTube channel, that would be really awesome. Um, and um, liking and sharing my page. Also, Laura Jean's wreath room is awesome. She's allowed myself and a lot of the loftettes to go in her wreath room on the weekends just to get some exposure she also has a design group it's very well worth it very very well worth it and michelle reed is my moderator she's dropped all the links below for you to join if you wouldn't mind going and liking her page it's m and b creations m this you know the and b creations um she's very good she's very talented she also has a private group she makes a lot of intricate makes a lot of little intricate designs she sews she makes her own little embellishments She's also very, very good as well. So, um, if you wouldn't mind just doing all of that and helping me out, it would be awesome. My new nights are going to be um, Sunday nights for sure on my uh, my lives. Friday, I'm not sure because Michelle goes on live at sure on Friday. I just don't know what time she gets off and mine will be after because mine are in the evenings. I'm a night owl. I do not get up in the morning. That was something you will never see. So, um, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Um, Stay safe. Please stay at home. Um, and you guys have a great night. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much. Good night.